Bee suits can be expensive, and when a bee suit costs about the same as a brand new hive, we want to increase the longevity of the bee suit. Many beekeepers have their own ideas when to clean their bee suits. Some clean it after a hectic day of working out in the bee yard after getting marked by the bees, and others try to keep it out of the washer as much as possible. Propolis is a bee glue similar to resin by mixing saliva and beeswax. Propolis is antibacterial in nature and reduces the growth of bacteria, fungus, and other microbes in the hive. Bees use propolis after killing their prey to prevent decay and minimize disease as well as to seal their hive. Many beekeeping sources say that propolis is never completely removable when you wash it, and they're right. Most water heaters are set at 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which is great for killing most germs and nasty smells, but if you want to remove any propolis, that might not be enough. Propolis will be gummy at temperatures from 77 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit, getting stickier and gummier as it gets hotter until it gets up to 140 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. In some cases, it can get up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the boiling point of water before it melts. Again, home water heaters are set to 140 degrees at their hottest, meaning that they might get washed off, but seeing that it can get up to 212 degrees before it melts well above the scalding point of 120 degrees. 212 degrees is boiling point of water and will destroy any bee suit as cotton shrinks at 104 degrees Fahrenheit and polyester will shrink at about 212 degrees Fahrenheit. If you want to remove propolis stains, we may want to try alternate methods of removing it before throwing it in the washer. But first, we have to find out what it's made of. The percentage of substances in propolis is as follows, according to the Saudi Journal of Biological Sciences. 50% plant resin, 30% beeswax, 10% essential oils, 5% pollen, and 5% of other organic compounds as well. Since the other materials will wash away easily with stain remover detergent, we are going to try methods people have used to remove resin from clothes rather than propolis. Here are some potential methods to remove propolis out of clothes. You can use the paper towel and iron method, which is good for wax, but it can damage if we try to remove propolis. You can dampen the affected area with alcohol and rub until it's removed. You can also dampen it with methanol and rub until it's removed. You can mix baking soda into a paste with water, apply, and let it sit for an hour. You can use glue remover, just use it as instructed on the bottle. You can use hot water, Right before hot water is about to boil, set the clothes into the water, then take a sponge or brush and rub the stain until it's gone. You can also apply stain remover for 10 minutes and then throw it in the washer. And lastly, you can use bleach. Just dab cotton swabs with bleach over the affected area, or take water and some bleach and let it soak. However, do not let the elastic of your bee suit get soaked, as it will reduce its ability to stretch over time. This is how you can machine wash your bee suit. Take a dull knife, like a cutlery knife, and scrape off as much of the wax as possible as you are comfortable without damaging your bee suit. Depending on how much wax is on your bee suit, you may be able to spot treat it. Take a paper towel and a clothes iron and place it against the beeswax while moving back and forth. You do not want to burn your fabric here. The wax will melt into the paper towel and you will repeat this step with a clean section of the paper towel. You want to make sure to get off all the wax from your bee suit if you want to put your bee suit into the washing machine because the wax will melt and then clog your pipes over time. Set your washing machine to the settings your suit has on the tag and make sure to not have other clothes in it. You can also hand wash your bee suit in a large bin. Again, scrape all the wax you can with a dull knife, spot treat if you can, and then get warm water and some washing soda and place the bee suit in the tub for about 20 minutes. After that, we can scrub problem areas with a brush, dump the water, give the suit a rinse, and leave it outside to air dry. 30 minutes into our test, methanol had great initial results with the majority of propolis dissolving completely with minor staining left, if any. Bleach and water lightens the propolis and makes it easy to remove, although it will damage the elastic if done. OxyClean stain remover had the least impressive results initially. The propolis was still pretty heavy, but it was easier to remove with a knife afterwards. Gugon had removed a lot of the stickiness to it, although it was the darkest of the four after spraying it on. Removing it with the knife wasn't as easy with the other three as well. Gugon also has a very strong smell. 
While methanol was the most effective immediately, we found that OxyClean was a suitable alternative after letting it soak, as the propolis would rub off after exposure.